made Lost Ark feel pay to- Holy shit, they just say it! Please read this joint update from Smile- Okay. Wait, holy shit. Okay, I'll read this right now. Heroes of Arkesia, we can't believe it's been already over a month since Lost Ark launched from the Western audiences. Our teams on both Amazon Games, Smilegate RPG, have been working tirelessly on stability, combating bots, yeah, 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 yeah. We'd like to thank the millions of heroes uh, that set foot in Arkesia and joined us for the start of this adventure. Speaking of adventure, or at least international travel, this week we're joined by Smilegate RPG in our Seattle office for, uh, for a fun and productive... Uh, Nine forces. Okay, yeah, all right. So this is just them talking about it. A look behind the curtain. Progression, Argos, content, roadmap, and skins. Uh, launching Lost Ark in the West has been a wonderful, humbling, and great learning experience for us at Amazon Games and Smilegate RPG. Our journey has been filled with late nights, creative problem solving, and hopping into Western servers to play together, and now looking ahead to things to come. Uh, as we continue to learn from our players' feedback and dive into data, our goal is to remain transparent, sometimes brutally so, with our players. To set the, <coughs> to set the stage, we'd like to reiterate some thoughts on progression we shared earlier this month. In other regions, players had to stay in Tier 1 and Tier 2 with a considerable duration, as Tier 3 had not yet been released. In the Western release, Lost Ark, Lost Ark launched with Tier 1, 2, and 3 content. The intention is that Tier 1 and 2 will be used as a road for players to understand the many systems in Lost Ark, encouraging players to explore the vast world of Arkesia and learn about intricate mechanics within the uh, battles play out. The first two tiers are designed as a mid-game prologue for the wealth of end-game Tier 3 content that Smilegate RPG has developed since their original launch. That makes sense. It absolutely does. Uh, as Gold River, uh, the Lost Ark Game Director, recommended, you are progressing at your own speed and enjoying horizontal content such as exploration, collectibles, quests, and more alongside your vertical item level progression. A lot of players are currently progressing through Tier 1 and 2. Some of you are progressing already on Tier 3, ready to vanquish in game challenges. Our goal has always been for players to progress at whatever pace they see fit. The Western version of Lost Ark launched the content at and above 1370. Uh, such as the Night Fox Yoho and Velgano's Guardians, World Bosses, Ghost Pirate Ships, Chaos Dungeons, etc., 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 etc. Partially due to player feedback we received in our closed alpha and beta tests. With that important context, let's talk about Argos. We've seen player concerns at releasing Argos before a significant portion of the player base had progressed through Tier 3, had made Lost Dark feel pay to- Holy shit, they just say it! They just say it! Wow! Thank fucking God. They're just saying it, it, it makes it feel pay to win. Yeah, it does. Exactly. Good. Thank you. We never wanted players to feel rushed in their quest at item level 1370. We considered having Argos available at launch, but we viewed the Abyss Raid as something important, stepping stone, helping bridge the gap of end-game activities that have yet to be released in the Western version of Lost Ark. We're looking at you, Legion Raids. Through that lens, we wanted to give Argos a spotlight and a special introduction to Arcasia. We made a mistake releasing the March game update too quickly after launch. Data we analyzed alongside Smilegate RPG from the, mis from the previous launches projected that a larger portion of players would have reached the item level required to challenge Argos. However, we overlooked certain variables such as players spending more time on horizontal content and the price of honing materials increasing due to bots and RMT. These factors contributed to a scarcity of Tier 3 honing materials. Together, our teams at Amazon Games and Smilegate RPG are continuing to get... Yeah, what the... They're actually just admitting that they fucked up. Yeah. Um, wow. Are, are continuing to gather data to play patterns in Western version to better inform our content in the roadmap. We appreciate the patience and support we've seen so far from the community while we continue to learn and work together and work to updating our roadmap and apologize for the confusion our early excitement has generated. After analyzing and listening to player feedback across all our community channels, we believe that an update that helps adventurers progress with the content currently in-game is more important than releasing new in-game content. We'll be expanding on this below in the honing section. With that said, players should feel encouraged to progress at whatever pace they're most comfortable with. However, there's still a wealth of in-game content that needs to arrive in Arcasia. In-game content will be introduced, but players should continue progressing at their own pace. Our goal is to provide fun content for players, even if it's a higher level, while never making players feel pressured that they need to pay to progress. Flexibility has already been a driving force in the collaboration between our teams and ensuring that players have been able to enjoy Lost Ark uh, as they see fit. 
from adjustments to the monetization to the Western version, like making sure aside some account level features, can everything be earned in game? Yeah, yeah. Uh, do listening to player feedback on content timing, we want to remain flexible. Amazon Game Smile Gate RPG will continue to monitor, but feel that Legion Raids, the definitive Lost Ark rating experience, should be released after players have acquired enough materials to be confident and ready for the complicated challenges awaiting them. Don't worry, more content still coming soon. Horizontal content like classes, islands, and the continent of South Vern will release as planned. We plan it so they were going to release Fulton, and now they're going to hold back on it to make sure everybody's caught up. Um, we want it. We will make sure that we will we will share. Excuse me. Uh, a more comprehensive look into our content roadmap for April and May in the near future. But at, after our week of in-studio collaboration has concluded and the plans have been finalized. Uh, let's move on to uh, cosmetic scans, advanced classes, let's read forums, watch streams and videos, check in Discord, and hop in game. Look at that. Uh, we've seen feedback the players would like skins and advanced classes to be re released at an accelerate. Yes! 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 That, that's, yes! Exactly! Yes! That's what we want! You're right! Yes! Oh my god! The two categories uh, of content are intertwined, which is one of the reasons speeding up too much is tricky. That makes sense, right? Uh, existing skins in Korean version were released before some classes, requiring art and development time to rig models with skins and newer classes, etc. Um, still, we're releasing skins at a faster rate than they were originally in Korea, and we will continue listening to feedback about the tempo of their release. Similarly, classes will be released faster, and our goal is to catch up. Uh, as we release new content uh, into the game, we want to add new classes that complement the content. Uh, more classes will be available soon, and we'll share specifics on the upcoming roadmap through working on Smilegate RPG in the studio. Economy and bots and honing materials. They just say it. Bots. Thank you. Uh, another area of player concern is around honing. We know that for every triumphant yell as a player succeeds a low percentage hone, there are other players frustrated with their attempt failing, leaving them without enough materials to try again. As players focus on their first character, we've seen that there are lower numbers of alternate roster characters to help feed main characters with high-level honing materials. Yes, because people don't want to play an alt just to feed their main. That's exactly right. Uh, a shortage of tier 3 progression materials coupled with problems introduced by bots have made honing materials too expensive and a burden to players. To combat this, we will be supplying more progression materials for players to earn through fun in-game events, injecting more gold into the mid and end game, and continuing our hard stance against bots. Bots have been a big problem for us since launch. Yep. Uh, even though we banned them as quickly as we could, they kept springing up. <laughs> It is what it is, you know? You just gotta keep going with them. That's what it is. Uh, thanks to the mass ban on bots around the timing of Argos update and the removal of early game gold that attracted them in the first place, we've seen a steep decline in bot activity and bot farmed gold that was used to inflate the prices of honing materials. Great. Uh, we'll continue to take a hard stance against the remaining bots to make them inefficient while ensuring that active players can access gold to create a better experience. Injection of honing materials. In next week's update... We will be providing additional Grand Prix honing rewards, introducing a new casual Guardian raid uh, to supply players with more honing materials, and kicking off the first season of the competitive Proving Grounds. This is all happening next week. Holy fucking shit! Holy fucking shit! Wow! Uh, in this event, scale of balance is applied to change the character's stat to match the Guardian's level. So yeah, this is right, yeah. Uh, challenge Helgea, Frost Helgea, Lumerus, uh, Ernil, that's the bear, uh, Virtus, we know who he is, Chromanium, that's the turtle, Nacrosina, that's the, uh, st uh, uh, scorpion, Dark Lagoros, that's Lagoros, but he's dark, uh, Icy Lagoros, that's Lagoros, but he's icy, and, uh, Calventus and Levanos. Levanos is the dumb one, Calventus is the other one. Um, this event will last for roughly a month, and players with item level 250 or above will be able to participate. We'll reiterate the details of this event in next week's update. That's awesome. So this is happening, like, next week. Arcadia Grand Prix adjustments. Uh, we're adding tailoring books and metallurgy books to the reward table for the Grand Prix. Oh, wow. For players to increase their honing rates, and we're increasing the number of event coins earned to help players get items easier than before. We hope these rewards will help players look to progress. Dude, this is the same thing that guy said in the video. This is the exact same thing. PvP rewards. Uh, for players awaiting PvP section, Season 1 of Competitive PvP Proving Grounds will release in next week's update. Players will be able to earn a variety of rewards, including access to weekly honing materials. Holy shit. 
We'll continue to review player feedback and data around Tony Materials rates and price within the uh, economy, but are excited to have more opportunities with players to gather things uh, together. Conclusion, complete with gifts. We know there's a lot to unpack above, and even with the context and information, you may have questions, concerns, and feedback. Our teams at Amazon Games and Smilegate RPG will continue to listen to your feedback and work to communicate as openly with you. We sincerely appreciate the enthusiasm and support that we've received in the first month since launch. Before we wrap up, there's one thing the rapport system has taught us, and it's that people love gifts. Lost Ark fans around the world are celebrating the new players that are now enjoying the game they love. Players in Korea received gifts to commemorate the Western launch of the game, and we wanted everyone to be included. We're so grateful for all of you who have joined us on the start of this adventure, and we're excited about the long future ahead. To help you with this journey with us, enjoy a gift full of fun cosmetics and useful materials. You'll enjoy it on the week of March 21st after our weekly update. And so what are we getting here? New animal selection skin, Mokoko Pet Selection, Mokoko Board Mount Selection, Lost Ark United Structure. I don't know what that is. I'm assuming that's like a structure in... Oh, it's this thing right here. Oh, wow. Just a second. Holy shit. Uh, appearance Change Ticket, Fainon's 132, Manlik's Tome, Legendary Card Selection Chest. That's really good. Jukebox Songs too. With such an expensive and comp expansive and uh, complex game, uh, there will be nuances and differences between the players in each region, but this is just the start of our adventure. The teams at Amazon Games and Smilegate RPG will continue to listen to players and analyze the data to find the right time for new content as we try to catch the Western version up to the rest of the world. Thank you for joining us along with our continued support, uh, and we'll see you in Arcasia. Good. Fucking good. This is great. I I'm I'm happy. This is exactly what we were waiting for. This is this is like basically what they're doing. This is what it seems like they're doing. They're thinking, well, we don't want to we don't want to increase the honing rates yet. Obviously, they will do that if this is still bad. But they're injecting more honing material. So in a way, they're just coming at it from this direction instead. This is really really good. Holy fuck. Like, I, this is great. Like, huge shout out to Amazon, Smilegate, both of you guys, one of you guys. I don't give a fuck. Great job, guys. This is exactly what we wanted to see. This is amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, they're adding in books. They're adding in other stuff. This is incredible. Wait to see the increase? Well, yeah. I mean, obviously, it, it might not be perfect, but it seems like they're... I think it's tomorrow, man. It's not going to be tomorrow, but it could be. I don't know yet. Yeah, this is great. People actually believe that they're listening instead of looking at numbers. Well, I mean, they're adding in, like, for example, like, these are, like, to a certain degree, this is legitimate things, right? Like, this is, this is something new, uh, this is something new, uh, I mean, there's, uh, sorry, these are, I, I thought it was about the, the Grand Prix. Uh, there's the Grand Prix is new, uh, the new books, etc. Like, they're actually adding in new stuff right now. Maintenance tomorrow? Yeah, that's nuts, man. Are you hyped for the new Lost Ark patch? I'm much more excited about it. Yeah, oh, Benji was right. He actually was. Yeah, this is exactly it. Look at this here. Admitted they were wrong, apologized, gave concrete answers on how they plan to fix it. Yeah. This is good. This is a universally good thing. Thank fucking God. Is this going live tomorrow? I don't know. Yeah, I, I actually don't know. Holy shit, man. Imagine Blizzard doing this. Yeah, this is exactly what we were waiting to see. Like, I think that almost every single person right now who's a Lost Ark player is probably waiting for some was has been waiting for something like this like we just basically got what we wanted like we, yeah we just basically got what we wanted but no increase to the honing rate well what i'm assuming right this is the thing is they're going to try one solution to improve the player experience and if that doesn't work then they'll do something else i think that's fair instead of trying two things at the same time they're going to try one thing and say let's see how this how this affects the economy and then we're going to go from there. That's that that's a lot that is the logical perspective to have. Yeah, so we'll see how much this increase happens. Yeah, I I think this is really really good, guys. This is great. Make sure you actually feel validated as a player with them listening and apologizing. Uh, I I know, man. Like this is great. Upping honing percentage, rolling hope bots. That's how it is in Korea. Well, it's going to help normal players too, and that's good. So what soup said would happen in an impromptu chat you guys had? Yeah. Does this count towards your 10 days? It doesn't need to anymore. They listened. They listened. They, they, they actually, they addressed the problem. They listened. They, they did. This is it. Like, we actually, uh, we got it. Let me just, dude, like, that's insane. I'm talking about change it real quick. 
Um, what the fuck, man? I really wish Blizzard did this. This is massive. Yeah. Amazon didn't want my 10K. Apparently not. Scroll down. There's more. Yeah, these are the new things that we get. We get like this little thing here. Let me see if I can open this. Open image, new tab. Yeah, these are the gifts. You obviously get like these little dinosaur costumes, the Lost Ark world thing, the little pet, and then also a hoverboard. That's crazy. Ultimatum must have scared them. Yeah, I guess that's what it was. Yeah, they did all this today after they saw what I said on stream, guys. Yeah, I mean, look, guys, I I'm a man of the people. What can I say? I do what I need to. Yeah, within one day of my video. Well, dude, they're, they're probably like, the thing is, the, the, a lot of the devs are not stupid. Like, they're not stupid. It, it's not that big of a deal, man. Yeah, they're, they're not that dumb. Like, this is exactly what people have wanted. Literally nothing changed according to their plan. That's not true. That's, that's not true. Well, let, let's see here. Right here. Where they talked about delaying the Legion raids because they want to have people caught up. That clearly is, yeah, that's, that's not it. Like, I'm trying to find it right here. Yeah, the Legion raids uh, should be released after players have acquired enough materials and competent raid equipment. But feel, yeah, this is clearly a response to the community. This is clearly what people have said. I, I know that there's people that don't like Lost Ark, and so you're trying to find a way to, uh, you know, it, oh, it's still, it's still bad, it's still bad. It, no, no, it's, it's still bad. There's still so No, 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 it's, it's just so bad. No, this is actually just a universally good thing that makes the game better. That's all there is to it. This is a universally good thing that makes the game better. We'll see how this happens. They even acknowledge, yeah, they even, like, I, I don't know what you want them to do. Like, they literally said, we've seen player concerns that releasing Argos before a similar portion of the player progressed to Tier 3 made Lost Ark feel pay to win. Like, what do you want? That, that's, that's great. This is, yeah, this is exactly what people wanted to have. And I think this is amazing. This doesn't make my work meaningless. Yeah, and also the reason why I didn't increase the honing rates is, yeah, they didn't want to make the work that people have already put into the game worth less. So, yeah, I think this is great. This is one of the best uh, fixes you could ask for or get. Yeah. Fuck yeah, guys. This is amazing. This is actually fucking amazing. Great job, Amazon. Thank you, Amazon. Thank you, Smilegate. Thank you for listening to us. And um, we will continue to complain if there's something else that is wrong. But until then, thank you. This is great. I'm happy, a lot of people are happy, and I think this will make the game better. Yeah, that's it. So I'm, gl I'm glad they listened to us. I'll, I'll link you guys the thing if you want to look at it yourself, but uh, that's what it is. Yeah, it makes me more excited to play. Yeah, it makes me excited to play too. Like this is, that's a huge fucking improvement, man. Especially after like what they, uh, what, what people are thinking. Like, cause I feel like the, uh, there was, like, so much negative PR and so much negative stuff that happened. Like, this is such a huge fucking improvement uh, over what was happening, man. I I'm just so happy to see this. Wait, what the? I was going to complain about Arcane scaling bug to see if they'll fix it, too. I don't know what that is yet, so I, I, I can't promise that. But I'm glad. I, I hope that, you know, I was able to help a little bit. I hope that we all were, right? I mean, this wasn't just like me, you know, like, oh, wow. You know, I can't believe I did this for you guys. No, it's everybody's giving their feedback, right? I mean, that's kind of the way that these things work.